Hi there, welcome back to Mel at Home. In today's video, we are going on an adventure. I thrifted these two items that we're going to flip. Uh, the first one is a desk and it had some sort of weird speckly sponge pattern on it that just wasn't working for me. So I wanted to paint it just a nice clean slate. So white. And then that was pretty simple, but it took a few weeks to get done with kids. <laughs> and then our next thrift flip is a couch and a chair that I got off Marketplace as well. These were a little bit more of an adventure. So when I picked it up, the apartment block smelled like cigarette smoke. But when I went in her apartment to actually get the couch, I didn't smell cigarette smoke. So I thought we were in the clear. Let this be your lesson. Even if you smell it a little bit, don't buy the piece of furniture unless you wanna go through a couple weeks of work. <laughs> so I am thinking of this as a thrift flip because if someone else would have bought this, you know, maybe they wouldn't have tried this, they would have just taken it to the landfill. It does have really nice upholstery. It's solid, there's nothing wrong with it other than the fact that it smells like cigarette smoke. So what I did was I left it in our covered porch for probably like two weeks. And then I covered it in baking soda not once, but I think twice, and vacuumed that all off. And then I vacuumed it with the Bissell Pet Vacuum. Um, I did vinegar and water the first round, and then I did it again, and I did the actual soap for the, for the vacuum in the second round. And honestly, I, I, I can't remember if I did two or three uh, vacuums of this. It may have even been three, but now it is done. It's in our living room and I really like it. So let's take a look. Here we go. Here is our before. Check out that lovely sponge pattern. I can't wait to cover that up. So first thing I did was remove the shelves. Here we are in the basement, all set up to paint. I can't wait to see this sponge pattern be gone. So let's get into it. Next step I'm doing is applying a polycrylic. I wasn't sure if I was gonna do this, but I'm actually really glad that I did. Um, it gives it just a little bit of a protective finish. I only did one coat of this, and I am by no means an expert, but I have used polycrylic before. You wanna make sure you do not shake your can. You have to stir it gently. This stuff bubbles really easily, um, and I'm actually going really, really slow here, even though I've sped this up because I don't wanna bore you. Um, because this stuff does bubble so easily, however, by the end of doing this, I realized, you know what, the bubbles seem to pop. Um, you don't have to really worry about them staying. Like, this turned out with a perfectly smooth finish, so if I ever use poly again, I'm not going to worry so much about um, making sure all the bubbles are gone. Okay, so here we are at the best part. We are putting it back together. All the hard work is done. This took me weeks between four coats of white paint and 
Watching Kids, and then the Polycrylic. Do you remember what it looked like before? I love how fresh and clean it looks now. Let's move on to project two. So after watching a few YouTube videos about how to cut foam at home, it seems like the best option is to have a serrated uh, like turkey cutter, but I don't have one of those. So I have a bread knife and another just serrated knife and a third serrated knife. So we are going to give these all a try on this foam for the cushions of 
this couch. Um, I threw out all the stuffing and the foam from the other cushions because they smell like cigarette smoke. So there it is. I really hope you enjoyed coming along and seeing the process of how I, how I like to think of it, saved this antique couch and how I spruced up that desk that was probably from the, I'm gonna guess, 90s, <laughs> early 2000s maybe. I would love it if you would like this video, subscribe to this channel because I have many ideas and we are gonna be doing a lot more home decor around here. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Thank you, and have a wonderful rest of your day.